Hey, hey, um, I'm, I would say, semi-active in some of these weird forums that exist on the internet about old keyboards and recording and stuff. And uh, on a Swedish one, there was someone who was asking about distortion pedals and synthesizers. Which is a, which distortion pedal should one use? And uh, that sort of links directly to what I'm doing today, because now I'm working on the second mix for the Ant Koviak album. And it's a track called Stay. And I've had some issues with the track. And the problem is that, uh, in a way, that I don't have any issues. There is uh, no problems whatsoever. Um, but I managed to find one. And that was like it had hidden itself in the basis of the track. In the foundation of the song. The piano. And the thing about the piano is that it sounds slightly muffled. Because if we go over and listen to, let's say, the, uh, the, stop it, the, uh, the drums on this track. We have the, um, bass drum. We've got the snare drum. And then we've got a, uh, a treated version of those two, and it sounds something like that. Yes, and then we've got the bass. And when you hear those sounds, uh, this kind of piano won't work at all. So what I did, and now I'm just playing this quite softly, is very simple. Instead of using a distortion pedal, I have taken it outside into a, into a guitar amp. And then with a bit of uh, spring reverb on it as well, just to give it some more character and uh, a bit more edge. And naturally, this is the All of a sudden, oh, we've got some delay on that as well, interesting. Uh, but what we get is a bit of uh, sonic framing. The, uh, I mean, we don't have all the frequencies that the piano originally had, not at all. We don't have all of that bass that we had from the start. But instead, we've got something that is a lot more useful.